there's so much to share with you on this video. So Jane's finished my box. I've just put it out here and fixing to spray paint it. Got to work on it. I hung up the sewing machine drawers. I'm still working on those, so I'm going to show y'all that. Um, going to do some change in the furniture in the living room, getting ready for Christmas. I'm going to do that. So I got a lot going on. So first things first. Here's my box. I'm gonna do the shiny gold. I only have a little bit in this can, so I picked up another can. I wanna do it all over, but I may like hit it here and there with this. We shall see. But here's my box. Got it set on a lazy season, but this is the front of it, which we're gonna get it painted. And then I'm gonna do a little detail work on it. But this is the inside. He's put some braces in it so the tree will sit down in here and it'll the bottom piece will rest in here so it's very heavy I think it's gonna be fine but yeah now to get it painted I have my gloves so we're just gonna get started and if you're not spray painting in your slippers <laughs> what are you doing Okay, what I'm about to show you is not for a minimalist. If you're a minimalist, you're gonna hate this, okay? And I get that. If you are a maximalist like myself and you love gallery walls, then I think you're gonna like this, maybe even love it. Now, I'm still tweaking it. I have been playing around with it I'm you know it's probably not the way it's going to stay but I'm going to show you what I did with the sewing machine drawers and the cheese box which one of y'all told me it was a brick box what they used to make bricks I don't know I just know it had cheese box on the label so that's why I was calling it a cheese box but anyway I'm going to show you what I've done with them in my dining room now I hung up, well, let me flip it around. Let me show you real quick. So here it is. So this is that beautiful oil painting that I thrifted and the frame that I thrifted. And I put it here. And then this is why I wanted the boxes because I had my black and white like farmhouse looking metal sign hanging up there and it totally clashed with this. And I was kind of over it anyway, so. I sold it in my booth, it's already sold. And this is why I got those sewing machine drawers. 
because I wanted to add them here. It would give me more space to decorate. And this is what I've come up with. We did add hangers to the back of the drawers and that box so I can hang it. And now I'm gonna go up close and show you what I've done. And then, like I said, it's probably gonna change. I've been playing with this shelf over here. And then I added those two little, do y'all remember those little, as I ordered, I ordered, I, I thrifted a set of four. There's two there, there's one there, and then I have one over my stove. This spot needed something, so I added them there, and I really like it because you'll see it ties in the fruit and the colors that's in this. And I really like that. And then this is going to go so well with my theme for Christmas. So let me give you a closer look at the drawers. Now, when I hung it up, I had this blank spot here and I racked my brain like what I could do there. And then I seen this plate that I have on a shelf. It's very old, it come from my great grandmother's. So I hung it there and I think it filled up the spot perfectly. And I really like that. Okay, so here, this was my little cup when I was little, and I love it. And then y'all remember the set of four coasters that I thrifted? Well, I just kind of set, stood them up. There's one there, and you'll see the other three. Remember the miniature brass candle holders that I thrifted? This is thrifted. This is that ironstone picture I just thrifted. Now, this silverware here was the one for my great-grandmother's. Right there, those are from my great grandmother's. And then these are some that I have just thrifted. These spoons, this started my little love affair with silverware. And then here, I just put a piece of pine back there with some pine cones for the holiday. And then those are my little chickens I purchased from the Lucky Rabbit. And then this is some little pieces that I thrifted in a bag. Here's the little drawer. And I just stuck a dolly in it and some Christmas greens. It's so cute. And then these are these copper mugs that I thrifted last year. And I just thought it flowed so well with that. So that's what I've got there. And then here are the other three coasters that I thrifted. My little chicken that I thrifted and made over. Ironstone platter that's thrifted and another thrifted brass candle holder. And that is how that is looking. Now, y'all hear James making them all this noise. I'm in here trying to film. I would pan around there and show him, but I don't want y'all to see the kitchen just yet. <laughs> I'm still working on it. There's you a sneak peek. I'll kind of tweak that a little bit. But that is what I did with the sewing machine drawers. And over here, I'm still like playing with this shelf, working on it. So, yeah. We had a bit of an incident. The glass broke on my beautiful picture, but I'm gonna go ahead and hang it and we're just gonna have to deal with it and I'll get a glass later. But it does make it a lot lighter to hang, so that's a plus. But I'm gonna see how it looks when I hang it up on the wall right now. I'm not digging all of this being wrinkled, but I'm thinking once I get it up there, it's gonna be fine, so we'll see. Got my eyes.
That is a chore, but that is done. Um, I've got to take my curtains on Monday to my mom's. I'm gonna hem them, they're just too long, and they did not look good to puddle, so the curtains have still gotta go up. Um, there's the print again. I mean, I don't like all the wrinkles, so I'm definitely gonna have to get a piece of glass cut or something to figure that out, but it's, it, it's there for now. And I know this is not everybody's favorite the way I have it set up, but honestly, for this time of year, I actually love this setup because it feels so cozy and I honestly love it. And I keep it like this until about February, I think, because it is just so cozy and I can actually lay on the couch and watch the TV, the recliners at the TV, the fireplace. It's just, I love it. I'm thinking about putting a little Christmas tree here because I think I'm gonna have an extra one. I may put a small one there um, and do something else with the basket or I don't know, that's still, I'm thinking. Um, but this is how it's looking. This is how I'm gonna leave my coffee table. I didn't wanna get rid of my chickens. I love them, so I've just added some pine. I may add a little bit of red berry here and there, maybe some of the, the fruit, I'm not sure, but for now, that's how that's looking. I love the box. I love it so much, and I think once we have the Christmas lights on it, it's gonna look beautiful. I love having the chair here because we do use this chair, and it's very comfortable, actually, especially with the little footstool, so love that, and of course, the grandbabies, they have to have that little chair and they also have the hearth. So we really do have a lot of seating in here. I did mop right through here because it was so much glitter because I added more berries to the garland. I ran back to Hobby Lobby and got more of those red berries like that and just added it 
all through the garland. I think it needed it and I really, really love it. And y'all loved this nativity. I love it too. And I've had so many questions about where did I get it? I actually got it for free years ago. I had nowhere for it. So my mom took it and she had it displayed in her, uh, in her like little prayer room, sitting room thing for a long time. And then when they moved and downsized, she gave it back to me. Well, it just happened to be perfect timing when we were redoing our mantle and had the perfect spot for it. So I love it. I've had this thing, oh gosh, I can't even remember. I know I've had it over 10. I know I've had it for probably about 15 years and I've only got to use it. This will be my um, third. Yeah, my third year of using it and I absolutely love it. I have no idea where it came from, but it is the detail, y'all. There's so much detail in this nativity. I don't even know if it comes across on camera how much detail there is, but yeah, that's the story behind the, the nativity. I, I, there's no telling what it costs. The only flaw in this nativity is this little baby right here is missing an ear, but you know, we all have our imperfections, right? <laughs> so that's the only imperfection or flaw to this whole nativity is that. But I do love the added touch of the berries. It just pops and it plays off of the red on his, um, the red and the gold, the red from his outfit and the gold. I just love it so much. So that is the update on what I've done, what I've changed with the mantle. I mean, you know how it is. You sit here and you tweak and you play with the core. I also added this picture of James and I. This was the day after we got married. We went and toured the Titanic and they took our picture. And I loved the scene with the Christmas trees. So I, put, I bring that out every year. And then over here, I added this picture. This was last year, actually. Look at that. He's actually laughing and smiling. I love it. And there's a little buster. I keep him out, but, and I added a wreath there because the, it was just like too stark, but I really like the wreath with the red. So that I changed that. But other than that, I haven't changed anything else. I still love it. This is on YouTube. Um, and it's playing music and you hear the crackle of the fireplace, but I did mute it for copyright issues. But that's that. So now, so now I've got to kind of straighten up my mess. <laughs> and it's a mess, but um, I love what I've done in the kitchen. Y'all, that kitchen took me forever to figure out. And I don't know that I'm even done in there, so I'm not gonna show y'all that yet. We still have the hallway to do. I still have the tree to put up. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the tree up because I know it needs lights, I have lights. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it up and get all the lights on it. And then we're gonna have a whole video of just decorating the tree because I do not know what I'm gonna do. It'll be different. So I'm gonna pull the tree out and go ahead and get it um, up and put all the lights on it that needs to be put on it. Also, Buster loves when his bed is under this table like this. He loves it. I guess because it feels like a den. Yeah, he really, really loves it. And that's another reason I like to change it up. I still may move this chair over some and move the table down some. Um, I'm just going to have to play with it once I get the tree over there and see how it goes. Merry Christmas, baby. Rain is coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Merry Christmas, honey. Yeah. The 
snowman's dusting off his hat Putting on the show for everybody To give them a smile that lasts another year Christmas baby The snow is laying two feet deep Now wish upon a falling star So all your secret dreams can come true There's something that happens when sleigh There's a The tree is up, lights are on it. We have a star up there. That star was our very first star that we had on our tree when James and I got married. That was our very first Christmas star together. And I had to bring it back out. I'm gonna do some more stuff around it, but it's very sentimental. I've added a ton of lights. There's about 400 lights, three steady on, and then one hundred strand light of twinkle lights and I like that it's just ever so often you'll see a twinkle here and there but that's it that's it with the tree box I love it so much it is perfect and I cannot wait to decorate it now this tree oh my gosh this tree is about six years old it was Delana's tree when she lived here and she used it for a couple of years when she was married. And then last year they bought a new tree and she didn't want it. And she was going to throw it away. And I was like, no, I'll take it because half the lights didn't work. I said, I'll take it. And I just stuck it up in my attic. And I thought about it this year. And I love this tree. I love the shape of this tree, the size of this tree. And I'm going to show you the box that it came in. It came from Walmart. Like I said, she we got it, I think, in like 2017. I want to say maybe... 2016, I'm not real sure, but it's the perfect size tree. So let me show you the this box. This is the box. It was $69, the seven foot pre-lit Brinkley Pine with clear lights. And it's T25 is what it was. Um, I don't know if that's something they still have, but I absolutely love this tree. And I cannot wait to decorate it and fix it up. And I think it's gonna be a nice change in the living room from my nine footer. Trust me, it's gonna be a whole lot easier to decorate. But I know there's some holes and stuff, but you know, I'm not gonna stress it until I start putting my stuff on it. Then I'll fill in all the holes. I'll rearrange the lights if I have to, but I got a hundred strand per section. That was my how I determine, and then the twinkle lights, I just kind of loosely run it all the way up the tree. So that's what I did. But I just love how every once in a while you get a twinkle. 
update on the moms. Look how beautiful they are. Y'all, my house is so seasonally confused. I have moms and pumpkins outside and Christmas inside, but it's just so beautiful. I love all the colors. James, you want to tell everybody what you did for the princess? We have Christmas tree stand for the princess. He, she wanted a customized one with the G on it for their last name. And I'm fixing to get in here and stain it gray. Like that, was it weathered gray, James? That was called? I think so. And then we're going to deliver it to her tomorrow. And if you don't like it, we'll have a bonfire out front. <laughs> if it's not measured right, what you gonna do? Because we didn't measure it. She sent us measurements. But isn't that beautiful? James, you just did an amazing job. No, but, yeah. Yes. And he even, like, mine didn't need it, but he put the little pieces in here with the adjustable legs. So, you know, we can adjust it so it'll be level. Yeah. You always have dips and everything else in any house. I mean, if you got concrete floors, if you got wood floor, tile, yeah. I mean, whatever the case is. So, it's always <laughs> good to have adjustable feet. What do you think, bro? Hmm? Does it look good? He said, well, yeah. pee so I can see. Come on. Does it look good? Huh? But Daddy did his part. Now, Mama's fixing to do her part. I get to stain it. So, let me get busy. up. I thought it was called Weather Gray, but it's called Classic Gray by Minwax. And this is what it looks like. I've already sent her a picture of it and she loves it. And I did just do a little bit down. Not that you're going to see it, but just on the chance. That was I just used what was left over on my rag but i think it looks so good what buy humbug buy humbug <laughs> tell them where we're going to the princess why are we going over there dad because she's got a christmas tree stand now <laughs> so we're headed to see Delana and drop off her Christmas tree stand and help her get it up. Her tree's already up, so we're gonna have to pick her tree up, put it over inside of it. Alert. <laughs> she just had to complicate things. Huh? She just had to complicate things. She's your daughter, of course she did. <laughs> Y'all, if we didn't have him something to drink when he got in the vehicles, he would dehydrate. Wouldn't you, Buster? 
When dad comes. <laughs> when dad comes, what does he do, Delana? Fix things. Fixes things, takes the trash out, buys groceries. What else? <gasps> he done went to the store, bought some stuff, been cutting up green onions, taking out the trash. <laughs> What'd you say? What'd you say? What'd you say? Say it again. You are a troublemaker, you know that? <laughs> James, she said, I bet you have to ask him to take it out at home, and here I don't. <laughs> All right, y'all. That is going to do it for me today and for this weekend. I hope y'all enjoyed hanging out with us. We got a lot accomplished. We still have a lot to do. And next week is going to be a busy week. I've got to take my daddy to the doctor. I've got to go to the doctor myself. And we have Thanksgiving, so it's going to be a busy week. And look at that stud right there. Stud with a lot of storage. Whew. Why'd you change your shirt? Because we're going outside. <laughs> I don't want to do stuff on Buster's telling you something. You wanna go outside? Hmm? Wanna go outside? Until the next one, y'all. Bye, y'all. James, you wanna tell him bye? Bye, <laughs> bye y'all. <laughs>